it's Carl Thompson here from Storagecraft. I'm a sales engineer for the Asia Pacific region and today I was wanting to do a quick tutorial on the latest version of Image Manager. So if you jump over to the storagecraft.com website, hover over the support menu, you'll find the software downloads and update section and this is where you can get to the latest versions of all of our software. So I'm just going to go ahead here and scroll down uh, pretty much near the bottom for Image Manager and um, we've got version number 7.6.0. Now you can download the executable here, which you can just install over the top of any existing version uh, to update it. Um, but what I was wanting to take a quick look at first is the release notes. So this is quite a big version in terms of the number of fixes that were released. Um, you know, a lot of bugs have been addressed, but there's also some new uh, features in here. So the, the one I'm wanting to talk about today primarily is the advanced check disk verification feature. This has uh, got significant benefit in the solution around uh, verifying these backups and the integrity of their file systems. So you can see there's a number of other issues um, which I'm not going to cover off in this other tutorial and enhancements, but um, yeah, if we jump over to Image Manager, we'll take a look at this feature now. So in the Image Manager software, um, I've got a backup store here with a number of uh, backups uh, within that. So if we just take a look here under Properties, verification you will notice here a new feature so under advanced we've got the uh, automatic uh, boot and screenshot verification we have now additionally added in which works in a very similar way the uh, check disk feature so what this will actually do is it will mount the volume at the end of the day week or month depending on which option uh, you specify uh, basically at midnight by default image manager will do its consolidation so at midnight end of the day image manager will do its consolidation it will then do its basic verification first so that's the uh, md5 verification or the crc verification and what that does is it tells us that the image is what Shadow Protect created. It's saying this valid, it's not corrupt. This image is exactly what Shadow Protect created. Now what you've got to understand is that Shadow Protect is a sector level backup. So we're taking at a sector level. I mean, particularly if you've gone in and ticked ignore read errors, that doesn't tell us that the file system was okay or not corrupt. It's just saying the backup is what Shadow Protect created and the file itself is not corrupt. So this is where these advanced features are actually opening up the backup image and validating what's going on. So obviously with the uh, the virtual boot feature that leverages Hyper-V or VirtualBox, that boots up the C drive and tells us that the system's bootable with a screenshot. What that doesn't necessarily tell us is what about the other volume, C, D, E, you know, and is the whole volume okay? So this is where this new feature, which is really cool, will actually run a read-only check disk on the entire volume. So if we do this every day, it's going to mount up that consolidated image at night time. It's obviously going to go through the shortest path of the chain to mount that uh, volume, and then it will do a read-only check disk. So it's a very easy, uh, very quick process to do. Um, of course, you, you may choose to do this daily, weekly, or monthly, um, You know, and you've also got the option to run the boot process as well. So this is really cool. Um, again, you can just turn this on. There's no... Uh, tools or additional components required. You could do this at the customer side or if you're a partner that replicates backups to your own uh, office or data center, you could do it there as well. So that's as easy as that to turn it on. Obviously, if I turn it on here at the backup store, it will automatically apply down to all of my other folders. So again, if I go over to properties verification, this is taking the uh, settings from that parent folder there. So it's going to do that daily as well. Um, and we can see obviously under each folder, we've got the main core processes of verification, consolidator, consolidation, retention. This verification is only going to show you the status on the basic verification. So when it does a check disk verification, uh, there's a couple of ways that you can monitor this. So the, the first and primary way is through your Windows application event log. You will see check disk um, events appear in here. And we can see here, this is actually one I forced to run uh, recently. Um, so it's not one that's run at midnight, but we can see there's the volume. So it actually isn't mounted as a drive letter. So it's not going to conflict with anything looking at drive letters on your system. Um, so NTFS volume, it's uh, not specified to fix. It's absolutely in read only mode. Obviously we're not going to uh, touch that file chain, um, that file system, but we can see here it goes through and does a full check. Disk. So we can actually report on if this was failing. And a lot of um, partners that I'm aware of are already monitoring for regular check disk activity and if there's any failures. So that might be something simple you can report on. Uh, but of course it also goes into the image manager log as well. So under this path here, C drive program files x86 storagecraft image manager logs folder, 
there will be a text file um, and the file name is the location of the backup folder itself. So we can see the KT002, it's got a GUID here because it was a policy. But if I open that uh, file up, we'll see here um, the check disk verify succeeded. No errors were found. So, so that's where uh, this information is getting logged. So there's a number of different ways um, you, can, you can pick up and monitor on that. Another thing uh, I'll also add is that we do send um, an email. So as long as you've got your notifications set up in Image Manager, um, it will send an email as with um, the screenshot verification, uh, giving us an output of the check disk of each of the volumes. So again, another way um, to monitor exactly what's going on. But again, this is very powerful because it's mounting the backup chain as read-only. It's then running a read-only check disk on each volume for that backup. So C, D, E, you know, where all of that data is. We're not just looking at the boot and saying, hey, we're getting to the login screen. It's verifying the whole system drive, the integrity of the whole file system, plus all of the other volumes, uh, which probably have most of your data on it anyway. So I believe this is a massive uh, enhancement to this product. Right, well, that's just a quick uh, preview of that feature. Uh, thanks for watching my tutorial.